Here we are in the gym. It looks a lot bigger now that the food pantry is not in here. I agree. How about we make a math walk stop question here on the court? That's yeah. a great idea. Well, the first step is to notice things that we see on the court. I notice that there's a bunch of lines on the court. I notice that there are a bunch of logos on the court. I notice that there are high hoop. I notice the court is really big. Isn't that a pretty standard thing? I think for junior high courts, it's 74 feet. I know that, but it doesn't really tell me how big the court is relative to my size. Like, how long does it take for me to run from one three-point line to the others? Stuff like that. I think we have a question for a great math walk stop. Let's figure out the size of this court based on your measurements. Well, it definitely feels big, I guess, but now what? How do I turn it into something I can measure or treat like a number? Try walking from the midline out to that hoop. Make sure you count your steps as you go. The court is symmetrical. The two halves are mirrors of each other. That means they'll be the same distance. Think about how tall professional basketball players are. The court must feel even smaller from their point of view compared to Adam. <laughs> if half the court took me 40 steps, then the full court would be twice as much. So I can cross the court in two times 40 steps. That's 80 steps. It took me 42 steps. But how do we figure out how many takes a real basketball player? Well, looking around online, it seems like the average basketball player has a foot length when wearing shoes of about 13 inches. Assuming the court uses that standard of 74 feet we talked about earlier, and we divide that by the 13 inches, that's about 74 times 12 inches divided by 13 inches that's 68 steps. So it only takes a professional basketball player about 68 steps to cross the court. So I needed to take about 1.2 times the number of steps to cross this court compared to the average pro ball player. You know, 1.2 times more steps does not seem that much of a difference, but that's not even thinking about how much longer and faster the strides are. That would be fun to compare. Now I know how different it must feel to be a pro basketball player to run on this court. It's pretty cool how with just a few measurements and calculations, we can see how the world feels in someone else's shoes. These shoes! We could figure out the same calculations on a football field. Let's, Let's do, do it! it.